So we just discussed some excellent properties of these hill slopes. But now we bring our uh, discussion to what tools can we use to help us interpret the, the slopes and terrain that we see? How can we identify which type of geometry the slope is? And how can we uh, classify slopes, especially with their slope angles? So as you've known for geography and through geography education, uh, to map terrain, we traditionally uh, use an analog method with a survey in the field and drawing contour lines onto maps that we can then use and interpret. However, uh, since the 1980s, um, we've had digital analysis really skyrocket and, uh, and take off to become the new uh, normal for analyzing terrain. And so I want to give you a, a brief overview um, and a chance to explore some digital analysis tools. Now these tools all um, are built around uh, these uh, data sets that are known as digital elevation models, or DEMs for short. These models are created through remote sensing, um, what we've been discussing in our other module, either through active or passive means, and they create uh, these images or these uh, data sets uh, which store elevation um, information. These digital elevation models essentially create a raster file, right? Uh, a image that is divided with pixels. And each of these pixels or cells has both a geographic location and data from elevation. And so these tools are excellent for being able to um, visualize our elevation data as well as analyze it. So some incredible things that you can do with these data sets are um, delineate watersheds and look at flow directions of potential water. You can explore the hypsometry of an area, the amount of uh, elevation proportional to the size. But in our case, you can even use them to create simple maps of different slopes of an area and um, the different aspects. And so for our uh, investigation this week, we are going to practice using some of these digital elevation tools with a simple um, web application. So when you're ready to explore these digital elevation models, head to our last section for your instructions to complete some simple analysis. Good luck.